Hi, I'm Dave Thau from the Google Earth Engine team, and I'm here to tell you about Google Earth Engine. Earth Engine is a platform for running planetary scale geospatial analyses using Google infrastructure. In this video, I'll introduce Earth Engine and the tools you can use to access it. Satellites have been collecting Earth observation data for decades, but it's been difficult to get access to that information. And there's so much data that even if you could access it, it's very difficult to analyze. At Google, we've decided to overcome these difficulties by downloading petabytes of satellite data, putting them on spinning disk in our data centers, and providing tools and an API for analyzing the data quickly and easily. All analyses are run in parallel across many machines in the Google Cloud. Our data catalog includes over 40 years of public satellite data, elevation data, atmospheric data, and more. We also provide tools to let you upload your own private data. We've used Earth Engine internally, where we analyzed almost a petabyte of data using thousands of CPUs to create the 15 meter resolution cloud tree image of the Earth that acts as the satellite base map for Google Maps and Google Earth. Now we're providing the same tools and APIs to developers and researchers outside of Google who have been using it for things like monitoring forest cover change globally, detecting surface water, and estimating the risk of infectious disease outbreaks. Earth Engine can be accessed using a graphical user interface at earthengine.google.org, which you see here. And it can also be accessed using an integrated development environment available at ee-api.appspot.com. This Earth Engine tutorial series will focus on the development environment, which gives access to the full library of Earth Engine geospatial analysis functions. Here's the development environment. The development environment is currently available for free non-commercial use to people who have signed an evaluation agreement. And I'll provide a link to the agreement at the end of this video. As you can see, the development environment has four panels. The upper left panel provides code samples and documentation. The upper center panel is where you type and run your Earth Engine scripts. And the upper right panel is a place for debugging information and a place for viewing charts. And finally, the map below is where you can instantly see the results of your analysis on the map. Let's look at the linear fit example in the image collection section of the code examples. Clicking on the code example brings the code up in the center panel. As you may be able to tell, the code is JavaScript. While the Earth Engine API has both JavaScript and Python bindings, the IDE is targeted towards JavaScript development. Clicking on Run in the center panel runs a script. This particular example shows how the brightness of global lights at night have changed between 1991 and 2012. Red areas have become increasingly bright, and blue areas have become increasingly dim. This example applies a simple statistic to measure change over time globally. The Earth Engine API supports operations that range from basic math to complex machine learning algorithms. I'll go more deeply into both Earth Engine API and the development environment in future tutorials. If this all sounds interesting to you and you think you have a good use for Earth Engine, please sign up for access using the sign up link here. Thanks for listening. I'm Dave Thau, and I'll see you at the next Earth Engine tutorial.